So we spent a long time in a fucking hospital. Shit. <clears throat> now I've got to remember this fucking code was 0277. I didn't write it down. This is their home, right? Oh, I see. Oh, we didn't have to remember shit. So his office is in his home, I believe. Okay. That's pretty badass. He's got all secured and shit. We need the number. I need to search. James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this. But I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Damn, man, we've got some access. We don't want to shake that. What is that? Dad of the year? Yes, Dad. <laughs> that stuff is all politics anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Investigate. Sank in there. Sweet. A secret key. Now to find the secret lock. That's quite smart. Mikey's sending me a message. Wait, David? Chloe, what? This is David, obviously. Did my mom give you my number? Yes, she did. I noticed you took your father's toolbox. Are you working on a project? Sort of. What kind of project? Sorry, it's a little busy right now. Well, I'm glad to see you taking an interest in something. Keep it up. Uh, he's trying hard in that respect, but whatever. Wait, Mike sent me a fucking message. I'm getting distracted. Said Mikey, didn't it? You're stronger, but oh, for fuck's sake. Hey, it just says you were in the path, oh, for fuck's sake. Hey, Chloe, thanks again for visiting. Drew says good luck out there. Hey, thanks, good luck to him too. Chloe, well, yeah, you're stronger than anything. Hope so. Alright, thank you for that. It's a pep talk. File, secret key, secret lock, snow globe, okay, it's obviously for this file over here, crime, mm -hmm. crime map, I like there was in the previous game, that was a pain in the ass. What do we have here? A shitload of files on people? Or some of those files laying around. <sighs> Alright. Welcome to Shadyville. Let's open the box. Uh, letters and a phone. Maybe he uses this to contact her. These letters. Wow. James never gave them to Rachel. Oh, that's fucked up. To my Rachel, my name is Sarah. I'm your biological mother. The first thing you should know about me is that giving up was the worst mistake I ever made. I was struggling with something at this time, something I've been battling ever since. The battle has been taking everything from me, most importantly you, but now I'm in a place where I'll be part of your life. It's more than I deserve, I know it's but I would love if you try wow. That's sad, man. I under she sent her letters and the dad never gave them. Dearest Rachel, I hope it's alright for me to write you again. I haven't heard from you yet. Ah, oh, that's fucking heartbreaking, isn't it? Um, I just feel like I have so much 
to catch up on. I don't remember much of my life. Symptom of the choices I've made. You've lost. <sighs> that's that's sad, man. I read somewhere, maybe a fortune cookie, that if you ever can step the same river twice, because, man, this goes on. Sarah, in this letter, doesn't seem anything at all like the person James told yeah. us about last night. I understand you're reluctant to let me speak with her. Oh, okay. James, okay. So now she's really... Okay. Now she's really realised that it's James. Dear Mr. Amber, I represent Sarah Greenfield, right for lawful mother. Oh, I see. So she's actually going for custody of it, or partial custody, because she's um, demanded the case to see unwillingly denying contact between her... Yeah, I see. Yeah, so he was keeping her away. So, this looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks James sent her. Guess he forgot to mention that during he the He didn't forget. Last he didn't forget. He just never told her. He just wanted to make her look worse. He didn't want her contacting her after all this time. So it really is a bit of a dick. Trying to protect her, but he lied about the... Yeah, alright. What year was this anyway? And say, oh, hold on, wait, what's the date? I uh, heard the 4th, 2010. 25th of the 4th. Uh, okay, 4th month. So, he, she stopped ch cashing them. So she didn't want the money in the end, kind of thing. That's... So she was legitimately trying to get in contact, you know, she's rejected the money, wrote letters, went through the legal system. Here's the number. <coughs> So he kept this phone clearly secret and only turned on at certain times. James is talking to on the secret phone of his. It could be about Sarah. You know, she attacked me first for a what? What the hell? I'm told you can help me with my problem. Crossing the line? Uh, let's talk. We'll call tonight. I found you were looking for... I found who you are looking for. Call you in 15. Well, this isn't a charity. I'm going to need you to do what we talked about. I can't. Sure you can, because I talked to your girl, and she has a big mouth. What? Turns out she's not so easy. We are going to need to be more hands-on. Don't hurt her. What? Relax, i got my best guy on it. How's your daughter? You know she attacked me first, right? You really should teach her to behave better. Nothing guess. You don't need this take and care of anymore. Who is this? The guy? I'm told you can help me with my problem. That's the dad. Crossing the line. Now let's talk. I found what you were looking for. Sure you can because I told you that she has a big mouth. More hands on, don't hurt her. Maybe he's contacting someone to hurt Sarah. Who we don't know James about yet. Is working with Damon Merrick? Well yeah, that's what I thought. It was Damon it's talking about the daughter at first, but what were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking about Sarah? Or is it Rachel? Whatever is going on, I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah is. But how do I get him to tell me? Trick, he will pay. Where is Sarah? Oh, okay. Oh, I've got to send a message from this. Um, pay, wait. You'll pay what you did for Rachel. I told you she came up to me. It was what your little problem is. It becomes a big problem. How do you hear the evidence or not? Oh. Oh, I see. Hold on. You'll pay for what you did to Rachel. Shit. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. I should have just went for the... Uh, I thought you meant your pay is and your pay money. But whatever. Okay. 
Told you she came at me. Self defense, besides, pretty sure you still need me. Yeah, we do actually. Well, the dad would need him still. Shit. What do I say? Um. Alright, I'll just say I did, I lie. I know you're new at this, but here's how it works. You show me proof, I give you what you want. Fuck. Hope James actually has this evidence. Don't think Damon will tell me where Sarah is. Unless I send him a picture. Of what? Graffiti, I'm doing that shit. Really, I shouldn't because then it would say that I'm there, but fuck it. Okay, no trophy popped. That's unusual. Oh, there we are. Drunk draw. Right, look. Service award. In the file. Maybe it's in the file. James sure keeps lots of files on people. Nope. I guess getting your ass kissed comes with the DA territory. Use a computer. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. Hmm. James, this is enough. He told me in the part that you weren't going to let me be a part of Rachel's life. Of course, I was angry, but I understood you needed you to protect her. Uh, probably was your parent. But sending that man to talk sense into me, threaten me. You're losing your moral high ground here. What kind of way is that for a DA to act? What would the voters say? I have the right to meet my daughter and the lawyer I spoke with agrees. But most importantly, Rachel has the right to know about her mother is to know the truth. Do you know? Hmm. Do what you know is right, Sarah. Damn. Um... What am I supposed to be taking? Oh wait, the letters? Sure keeps lots of no. files on people. Fuck off. Sarah sent No wait, that ain't the fucking this so evidence. This looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks. What evidence is there that we're gonna do? Guess he forgot to mention that during his story last James has a file on Frank. Oh, I'd love to read this. Wait, maybe the file's in the drawer so what I, I have to well. thingy. Evidence, here we are. Shit. The knife. Which of these is Damon talking about? I could... Bingo. Why are you sending me this shit? You know I'm what I'm talking about. No. Shit, so it ain't that. The glove. Picture of the glove. Evidence. So it's about another crime. I'm waiting. Yeah, and now fucking destroy it. Why are you so bad at this? I'll get right on that. <laughs> if I can figure out how. How do I destroy oh. a glove? Maybe I can burn it somehow. What, now? Burn the glove. Get the alcohol. That's what we need to do. This guy better not have a fucking fire alarm. There we are. I thought we might needed to pour the alcohol, soak the glove in the alcohol, and then burn it properly. Oof. Better not touch that again. Shit. Oh. 
since you're destroying evidence, right as well tell me which of my guys was the snitch. Oh, fuck's sake. No more, no clue. Tell me who it is, or maybe you'll rather deal with your problem yourself. Damn. I hope James has something here to tell me who Damon's in. It's got to be that file on the thing. So I need to find which of Damon's guys has been snitching? I should search around the office to see if there's any info to help me out. I hate this shit. Okay. If I'm going to accuse one of these guys, I'd better be sure I'm right. This is going to be bollocks. Vendor headshot? Wait, so I can just wait. Don't we have to look at the evidence? Or just are we accusing people here? Uh. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? I mean. Oh, hold on. There was a file on the desk. Investigate. There you are. I agree to aid the courts on future cases. That could be seen as a little snitchy. Oregon State State of Plans with name Gerald Scott, defendant. Who's Gerald Scott then? Okay. There's no way that Frank is snitching on Damon. But I love learning about his badass loitering charge. Huh. Well, he's the only one there, this dude, who's uh, said something like he wore a bite. What I was his name again? To aid the courts on future cases. That could be seen as a little snitch. Gerald Scott, I'm doing that. Uh, wait. This guy let me into the mill. No. This is that asshole who's no. selling firewalk shirts. Guess this explains why Mr. No. Amber knows so much. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's okay. talking about? Oh, for God's sake. More proof. Because I say so, you can trust me. Uh. Oh, for God's sake. Damn. This will be tougher than I thought. Maybe I should dig around for some evidence. No, his name was Pike. It wasn't actually Thingy. Wait, is there another dude here? Crime report. Assault. Name Damien Merrick. Six male. Time. Verbal location victim Merrick Brandisher. Fire poker hitting the victim off several times. Ah. Gloves recovered into the evidence. Blah blah blah. EMT. Ah, a bystander who requested or remain anonymous. A bystander? Who is the bystander? This guy let me into the mill. Cool dude. Fuck it. Shit, yeah, that makes sense. I can't wait to take care of that fucker. Guess all it leaves is our hand. Okay. Show me you have my payment and I'll tell you where to meet. Payment? Fuck. Payment of what? That's the amount you pig stole from me. 
Here's hoping James already has Damon's money. <sighs> but where would it be? All right, now we've got to look for the thing. Okay. I don't know why, but I'm tempted to shake this. Maybe they were saying <laughs> to access something else. I don't know. It's the big one. We spent a long time in this goddamn house. I wonder if this has anything to do with Damon's stash. All right. Investigate. Damn, it's a huge wad of cash. Holy shit. Picture time. Uploaded to Instagram. My money. <laughs> uh, the exact amount you pick star. All right. Good work. And here's your girl. Ready to go. Fuck. That's Sarah. And she's at the mill. What is he doing to her? She's tied up. Holy fuck. Um, he ready to go. Bring me the package and we can finish the job. Damn. I'll be right there, let her go. Um Hmm. I would say let her go, but he ain't gonna wanna. It, it's irrelevant because I, I, he wants the money first. So. I don't know, part of me says let her go, but then he ain't gonna wanna. He, he'd be like, I need my money first. So. I'll be right there. You really are new at this. Better hurry. This shit's starting to get on my nerves. Holy shit. Does James even know what he's doing? Fucking okay. hell, this is crazy. I still have time. Damon's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yet. Fuck. I need to get there fast. Chloe? Shit. Elliot? Oh, Elliot's followed me. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is Rachel's house, right? Did he really just follow me here? You followed me, helping her. Did you... Did you follow me from the hospital? I did. I'm worried about you. I'm fine. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Chloe, what is... Ah. Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And you do? Chloe, God, what have you gotten yourself into? You... You wouldn't understand. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? Rachel's mother is serious. None of your business. Ugh. I, I, I can't tell you, but obviously this is pretty serious shit. That's why I need to leave right now. You mean serious for Rachel, right? But, but you're the one putting yourself in danger again. I'm so uh, I don't need a lecture. You're not seeing who Rachel really is. When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just take a step back. No. You need to listen to me. What has your relationship with her gotten you? You, you don't know what you're talking about. First night you hang out, what happens? You end up in a fight. Not her fault, she saved me. Uh, she did save me, actually. You don't know what you're talking about. Rachel saved my ass. I'm sure that's how it seemed to you. 
Stop, stop suggesting that she's somehow bad The for... next day she convinces you to skip school. Magically, she barely gets in trouble. And you get suspended. It was my choice. She defended me. Well, it was my choice. I took the fall because I wanted to. Rachel tried to protect me. Yet somehow, it all worked out for her in the end. As usual. You don't understand. You weren't there. Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? S seriously, man. You, you need to shut the fuck up before- I've been quiet long enough. Look, Rachel is an amazing actress. And I don't mean on stage. She's fake. You're real. And I hate to see her manipulate you like this. Elliot, I, I promise, n no one is manipulating me. No? Just look where you are now. A high school dropout. Hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy. It just as easily could have been you in that hospital today. If that ever happened... Stalker much. I appreciate your concern. Uh, whatever. Look, I, I hear you. I, I appreciate the concern. I don't think you do. Elliot. I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Me, not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. What does that mean? It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now. Wow. Okay, that's fucking weird, dude. Um, who is this dude? He's like a fucking side character coming out confessing his love for me, supposedly. Or whatever, Chloe. Um, it's telling me what to do. Um, yes, those decisions were made, but I made them myself. Uh, maybe Rachel is a bit manipulative person. I don't know. But until that comes to pass and I finally see that for myself, I'm not being told that. I haven't really seen it. We're just friends, we want to do something together, we share the same kind of interest, or well, you know, like, breaking out, getting away from this place, we're still friends, we're still close, whatever. Um, I haven't felt like I've, I was hanging around with Frank anyway and getting drugs, so if anything, it's the same thing. It, it, like, I was doing that anyway, so, and skipping school, and I just, you know, it, it, I get what he's saying, but it's not enough for me to say, well, yeah, she is a problem. It's not like I weren't doing these things anyway. <clears throat> Calm him. Walk past him. Get the fuck out of my way, dude. Look, I'm sorry, but I really need to go. Well, he was a bit of a mad cunt. Why did you make me do that? Can't you just listen to me? He's a bit of a psycho. Call for help. Calm him. I want to smack his face in. Where's that button? Elliot, please. I know you're upset. But... I'm not upset! Wow. I'm trying to help you. You're a nutter. Elliot's gone full blown crazy. I. I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Who was there for you? When Max left? When your dad died? No one else gave a shit about you except for me. We have a lot to talk about. And I don't care how long it takes. We're not leaving until you see that I'm right. Wow. Armed, okay. All right, Elliot. You want to talk so bad? Let's talk. Uh, to succeed in uh, in back talk, okay, your opponent choose or let it come back. What's really going on here? You can tell me. Uh, the exact so exact location. The alias here. Here's what's going on. We're at the DA's house, and. We should probably leave before he comes back. 
Don't worry. With Rachel in the hospital, James isn't coming anytime soon. I'm talking about your situation. Rachel is dangerous. You need to realize that. All right, what's the next clue? My life is at risk. I feel threatened. You're acting strange. Shit, I pushed a button. What's going on? What? Nothing. I... What are you... Oh, fuck. I fucked up. Ugh, you bitch! Can't Shit. You see? I just want to help you! I pushed a button, though. Fuck. My bad, guys. Are you going to assault me now? That's how far you'll go to protect Rachel? Fuck you. This is what I'm talking about. No, you idiot. What the fuck? Better run, dickbag. Cops will be here any minute. Well, we didn't go smoothly, smoothly, but there you go. Well, that's fucked up. He's a bit of a psycho. Self-obsessed and he is a stalker. Stay the fuck away from him. So what we're actually okay now we're finally gonna okay. guns, guns, guns. News, More copyright music, yay! Don't buy any of the songs from this game. Because they're copyright strikes me, that's my protest, fuck them. Damn. Side character though, just out of nowhere. Much destruction. All because Rachel got angry at her dad. Who's been Why lying to her all her life. And he's still lying. Alright man, we know the story. Being a dad's tough. Oh for fuck's sake, she's in dream world again. But he's done. I'm just saying. I'd probably do anything to keep you safe. Hey, Dad? Yeah? Did you ever lie to me? I don't mean telling me that ashtray I made for Mom wasn't a piece of crap. I mean, like, really lied about something that might hurt me to know. What do you think? I think he didn't. I just don't know. I suppose everyone lies. I don't think he did. But. No big secret. But I don't think he was that kind of man. But. You didn't. You didn't have to. You didn't. Right? Would you love me less? Depends what it was. Maybe a little. No, I wouldn't. Look. No, well. No. Of course not. You sound pretty sure, sweetheart. You were pretty sure Mom would never fall in love with someone like David, too. Are you really ready to hear the answer to your question? Yeah, I'm ready. Ready as I'll ever be. Problem is, I'm dead. So how am I supposed to tell you anything? You bastard, you got out of it. <laughs> nah, it's... It is what it is. It's better this way. I wish you'd told me. I wish eh. you told me. When you could've. You don't like the perfect relationship we had? I wish you'd lived long enough for us to fuck it up. He 
Here's what I know. No one's perfect. Everyone has secrets. My ride, my tunes. Seriously going in to face Damon Merrick. All for Rachel. Am I crazy? Hella crazy. I'm glad <laughs> you're here, Dad. You don't want me to go? No. I like the company. Besides, you don't want to miss this. Things are about to get real. Yes, they will. I know we're well into an hour into it now, so. Do you know what? I might actually stop it here, guys. I don't know. It depends. Guys, if I stop it here and then I continue on, uh, if this is a 10 minute thing I added on, if it is not and it kind of becomes its own half an hour, 40 minute thing, then I'll just. Uh, you know be a separate video but guys i hope you enjoyed this video uh please like share comment and subscribe i found it uh, sorry to recap well so we visited the hospital well rachel got stabbed we visited the hospital um and then you know we've seen drew um and now we've broken to that guy's house and that guy's a bit of a fucking stalker really weird a, a character out of nowhere watching us from afar seemed to be like a love interest or whatever for chloe who i personally just said now nah, reject blah blah not whatever judged us had an opinion on everything that we've done up until this point which i didn't fucking like because uh, it was none of his business at the end of the day he wasn't someone we consulted with and was a friend forever and ever and ever like you know what i mean we like for like, the entirety of the game or even the next game or whatever it was the previous game you know whatever we want to call that uh, when max returns there was nothing about him he was just there and he, and he was judgmental on everything and then became a nut job when we rejected it or we didn't listen to him in in respects like i said like a psychopath so that's fucked up um anyway guys uh that's my conclusion right now for this story i'm, I'm looking forward to the ending i'll see what actually happens that guy kidnapping sarah and everything um i'm a little bit pissed off at the dad though that's another thing rachel amber's dad for going to such lengths to keep her away from his daughter he's doing it as the right thing but in, in the, i don't think it is um in retrospect the way he's doing it or did it and how she wrote letters and in the end it became you know not for her safety but just simply because i don't want you to see your daughter kind of thing that's that's the way it looked like to me anyway uh so he's a bit of a dick right now in my opinion uh the girl went all through the basic levels of letters and you know trying to contact her to the law through the law and it still hasn't worked out and uh it's just sad it really really is anyway guys uh i'll see you on the next video or whatever or maybe this continues it depends i i think it'd be another video though Okay guys, basically what happened in the previous video was an hour and 25 minutes, so I broke off uh, a large chunk of it, made it into two videos, so this is the continuation of uh, Hell is Empty, so basically guys, this is just the continuation of, um, <clears throat> of this video, basically. Um, because I'm just adding it on because it turned out that the the hospital part went on for an hour and 25 minutes overall like combined so I split them up and I'm gonna add this part on to make it maybe an hour overall I don't know depends on how long this part goes on for who knows I think this will be the end of the playthrough so basically we're here to meet that guy for Sarah. Shit. Is that blood? Damn. What happened to Frank, I wonder? Frank? Maybe he killed Frank. Well. No, nah, I bet he's injured. Frank? Gotta be injured.
Can I move? No. Nope. Shit, this is bad. I'll get you help, Frank. But first, I've got to help Rachel's mom. What is this place? An abandoned warehouse? Church? Where the hell is Sarah? Creepy. Sheet of metal. Move. Don't mess with whatever. Don't tell me what to do. Ah. So it's his little weird hideout place. Glad to see the bone made it. A knife. We're gonna need to take this. <sighs> this is the bar where you are at? Apparently it is. It was you or me, Thunder. It wasn't personal. It's done, Demi, and nothing else. Alright, whatever. Where's the homicidal drug dealer, spooky deerhead? Oh, yeah, okay. Alright, so this place burned down now, I remember. Gonna kill her with an overdose. I just want to meet my daughter. Can't you understand why does Your he? Daughter? <laughs> Jesus. So that's what he's worried about. Can't let the public know the mother of his daughter is some junkie. I ah. don't want to see her. You don't have to. Shut up. James Amber wants you out of the picture. So that's what's going to happen. I see. He's gonna overdose her. Shit. This is crazy. Public opinion Have of him. No one believes a junkie. No. He said you've been sober a year. Wow. It's hard to kick this shit. You can do this. We're going to have to kill him. He wants to murder her. Point blank. What the hell are you doing here? Use the knife. I've got your money. I've got your money right here. The money James owes you? How the fuck do you- Run! No one has to know. Just, just let her go, and I won't say- Oh. Shit. Now I've lost my opportunity to use the knife. Talking's over. Leave her alone. Shut up. What the fuck? I've recorded him as well. Oh no, I've got the phone. That's right. You boosted the DA's shit? Got my money? Burned the evidence? All that? I'm just trying to help. Get Damn. away from her. I said shut the fuck up. Fuck. No. Go to your fucking happy place. Run. 
Let this be a lesson, kid. Make good life choices, or you'll end up like her. Now, what do I do with- Damon! What did you do? Ho 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 I fucked you up good, didn't I? Guess you really don't know when to quit. Glad to see you back on your feet. Chloe. Frank. You don't really want to do this again, do you? Okay. Then I don't want to do this again. Come on, man. Fuck you. <laughs> oh. Sarah. He's in a happy place. Her daughter. She I think I'm knocked out. Frank was already injured anyway when he started the fight, so... Sarah? <clears throat> Chloe Price. You know my name. Where's Frank? Where's Frank? Or... Or Damon? Your friend, Frank, took care of Damon. You don't need to worry about them right now. Sit. And how did she know my name? Sarah. Are you okay? We need to talk about what happened. I am so, so sorry for Rachel can never know. You need help? Know about what? What exactly can't Rachel know? What James did. Hiring that thug. Shooting me up with... <sighs> He's a piece of shit. And I promise that Rachel can never know. It's bullshit, I don't understand. Probably don't want to fuck up her life anymore. But... <sighs> That's bullshit, Sarah. You're not listening. Rachel deserves to know what happened to you. No, she doesn't. Rachel deserves a loving father. A father who cares for her. James is a liar. James <laughs> is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. Tell her what happened here. And you'll take that away from her. Forever. She deserves the truth. She deserves to meet you. And just what is James protecting her from? You? She wants to meet you, Sarah. No, she doesn't. She wants to meet her mother. I can never be that for her. Why are you saying all this? Because James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. Everybody's broken, you're strong. She was clean for a year. No, you're not. You're stronger than you realize. You don't know anything about me. I, agree I know with that. Rachel needs you. I know loss. I lost my father, I lost my friend, father. I lost my father two years ago. How? Car accident. He was, he was picking up my mother from the grocery store and a truck Oh, was it a truck? Oh, I thought it was a fucking train. That was it. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm sorry.
You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every fear. Gone. No more sadness. No more grief. Why would anyone not want to feel that way? Ever. You quit for a year, Rachel needs you. you quit for a year. I read your letter to James. You beat this before. You can beat it again. No. I can't. I, I recognize I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just... I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. I know. She quit for a year and is clean sober and now she's saying, oh, she can't quit it. Uh, I understand being on drugs, but like, oh, uh, the fear or the pain gone, whatever. You need counselling. But how in the fuck is this story... I don't like in the way the story pans out. She wants her not to tell her about the situation with her dad. She don't... She don't uh, don't want to meet her. She don't want to meet her now. She's like, oh fuck it, I give up. I'm into the drugs still. But even though she quit after a year, it's just giving up and surrendering. And he walks away scot free, getting away with everything, and his daughter not being a piece of shit, and not knowing what a piece of shit he is. That's dumb. It's not really a decent She's conclusion to me. Fearless. She's brilliant and talented, and she feels so much. She's so strong. She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home. Given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. That something was you. She didn't. So what that she had opportunities? It doesn't fucking matter. <clears throat> it could have been, okay, I was a bad mother, I uh, was on drugs, now I'm clean, let's start a relationship, and that's the way it should have been. Instead, it's like, you're thinking about the past too much, the past was the past, it's dumb, dumb. It's anything. She has a perfect family. They are far from perfect, I thought my dad was perfect. Even without all this shit, the Ambers are far from perfect. James is an elitist asshole, and, and Rose lets him walk all over her. Maybe. What Rachel needs, though, is not to have her father taken away from her. <laughs> he doesn't it's deserve- It's not about James. It's not about me, and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Tell her what James did. And you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? You lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel through that? Remember your letter. Don't you want to see her? <sighs> um... That's pretty tough right there. Now it's a conclusion of do we tell her, do we not tell her. I understand what she's saying. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know where I stand with this right now. It's one hell of a thing to ask somebody to do that. Again, I know it's just a game, blah, blah. But it pisses me off. I don't know what to say right now. Shit. Does she, I can't remember what she said throughout the game. Does she want to be told the truth, the truth for, and blah, blah, blah? Or does she... I don't know. I'm not even too sure. I'm, I'm a little bit confused here. I feel like just as emotional as a character right now. <laughs> Damn it. Don't you want to see her? I can't lie to her. Lie to protect her. Oh, man. It. Don't you want to see her? You came here for it. You got sober. 
You deserve the chance to know your daughter. Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. But there's one thing I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. Let me give her the father she deserves. The one who raised her. Protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. Ugh. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. You have the power. What you have to decide is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. So it feels like it's all on me now. What a bitch. Fuck. Tell her I was never here. Let her have what peace she can without me. In the other game, she's on drugs, she gets mixed up with Frank, Wait. falls in love with him, doesn't leave, I'll take care of her. Shit, so what do we decide? I know what happens in the other game. She's a recluse, she goes missing, she's all the rest of it. Or do we promise to take care of her? If I tell her she might go down the path, but then it happens anyway, and then the result happens, happens out of our control. But then we, or we can be a friend and protect her and keep a beautiful lie. <sighs> protect or hurt her. It's fucking horseshit. I feel like this whole thing's been put on us. Like, when it should have been so simple. It should have been, I was your mother. I'm back in your life. You can choose to have a relationship with me, yes or no. And that would have been the end of it. And of course the dad's going to be worried. But as an 18, 19 year old girl, daughter, you have to, she has to make her own decisions. Whatever. I don't know. It just feels that way. And the father should have respected that. He's a piece of shit. The lengths he went to to do this is fucking ridiculous. And I feel like shit for saying one or the other. I'll take care of her. I don't leave. Cause more hurt or don't. I, 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 I don't know what to do. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. What choice do I make? She wants to meet her mother. You know what? Fuck it. Don't go, Sarah. I'm done here. Goodbye, Chloe. You bitch, she was leaving anyway. I would have changed it to I'll take care of her and she would have been thankful. But I assume. Well, that was my last chance to help and the game hasn't allowed me to do that in the respects to hey, stay or whatever, so. So now we have to put on a face. Look at that fucking prick. Hello. In hindsight, she does have the perfect life, perfect family, blah, blah. Rachel's just fallen asleep. I know she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. Maybe come back a little later. Fuck off, you piece of shit. Go back to sleep, kiddo. You need your rest. Can I talk to Chloe? Alone? For a minute? Okay, sweetie. We'll be right outside. Oh man, what you ask me? Some bastard question. Like, did you find my mother? Blah, blah, blah. 
So we find, we've got some information like she he was she was clean for a year and everything. Blah blah. How are you feeling? Like I got stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe a tattoo is in order. Fuck yeah. <laughs> We never actually escaped, did we? We've got time. All the time in the world. So, how did everything go? Oh God, here we go. Rachel, I've got to tell you something. Do we shatter her life or considering how everything happened? Tell her everything, protect Rachel from the truth. Oh, it's so <sighs> It's so fucking summed up, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's so <sighs> I just don't know what to do. the friend has a right to know your friend would have a right to know everything that they've done and expose them I, I, I just would you protect them is that your right to do that to take that responsibility if you do they might end up hating you but if you if you do protect someone I mean this isn't a small thing this is fucking massive this isn't Oh, the guy thought you were fat, so he rejected you, and that's protecting someone. This is well, your mother, your father tried to have your mother killed, but you know because she wanted to be back in your life, and you know trying to get hooked on heroin again, and hired someone to kill her. This is extreme shit. This looks at some extreme shit. Regardless of what happens, anyway, tell her everything. Fuck it. Decision I made may cause more pain, more drama, but she deserves to know. Wanted to protect his clean image for his people and everything and his publicity. Well, fuck him. Devils are here before the storm. So Frank took care of his friend, or the whatever. Didn't actually see what happened to him, but as soon as a fight and he died, he got stabbed and killed. He burned the box, surely. Or I would. Rachel knows the truth. That guy's dead. And David and Mama. Holy shit, really? Oh well. After all that's happened in this game, that's the one positive thing I suppose has happened. In many ways. He's a freak, mate. You stay away from me. Good. Oh yeah, they, okay. So he's 
just learning a nerdy ass game now. He's still going to be bullied and an outcast. There's no doubt about that. He broke that girl's ribs, man. He's a weirdo. He's a sicko. So no one really does care about him. He came out worse off. Victoria's a bitch, 101. You prick. <laughs> and that's how the friendship developed and became really, really close, and he's gutted about it and pissed off. <laughs> Now it kind of it kind of feels you now know the story of how they're connected, how why they're such friends. You know what I mean? I like that aspect of it. It really was a good journey. I won't lie about that. Home life might be shit, but at least you know the truth, and now you have to deal with it. I live a beautiful lie, or deal with the harsh truth and make the best of it. Oh, okay, we've got all colours now here. Cool. I'm gonna get copyright striked again. Tattoos, man, shit. They look pretty sick. I absolutely love Chloe as a character. I really, really do. The development between the friendship or relationship between it were they gay, were they not, were they just friends, it didn't really matter. They played a part in it, a semi-part, it was a small part and it was there, but it, it wasn't a, a key factor in it, not for me anyway, and I enjoyed what it was anyway. Chloe's still cool as fuck anyway. Well guys, that is the end of episode 3, but don't get, don't, you know, if you love this, I mean I fucking did. Um, even though they took elements of the game out of it, like the controlling thing of time, it was still a fantastic story, and I love the narrative, I love the route it went down. This was a, a I thought only three episodes ain't going to be good enough, but there were so many hours jam-packed of situation, intense emotion there at times, you know, in situations that you were in, that it, it felt really, really good and longer than what this actual was, three episodes. I mean, I think, that, what, Life is Strange to five episodes, maybe six? Anyway, overall, there is a next season coming out, but guys, if you want more of this, don't worry, because there will be a next episode as well. The bonus episode I've already paid for, and I'll be playing that next. So click the annotation, you'll be able to see that. Um, cool music as well, I'm just disappointed I've got copyright strike to every level. But music in these games make the games to a point, so, and the emotion, it needed to be there, that's why I don't regret that. Um, I just hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless anyway. Uh, I don't care about the money, it's, it's, you know, fucking, it just gets 2,000 views or something, it ain't happening. So, you know, um, I just wanted to break up the playthrough in, in parts that, so in case you guys come back, instead of just one ad, I mean, I don't know how it's going to be done with it. Uh, I have no control over the ads. A very special thanks to a very special thank all the amazing developers, blah, blah, blah. So, um, 
didn't really notice the character. I think it was Max Confield they changed. I don't know, someone, one of the characters' voices was supposed to be changed. Ashley Birch was a writer. Oh, okay, don't know who that is, but I just noticed a woman writer. So, Hell is Empty, you tell Rachel the truth. 49% did. And 51% didn't tell her the truth. Wow, there you go. You attacked, you ran. Okay, wait, that's going all back through the entirety of the game. That was it, really. That's all I wanted to. Okay. Next. Ah. Wait, what? You gave Drew money to Damon. Okay. Oh, look at all these decisions that I made. Fucking hell. Guys, you're just going to have to pause it and then read it if you want to. Because I can't see from this distance. Which is really pissing me off. Do, 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 do. So just pause it and read it. This is where she's modelling for the teacher. Oh, that's fucked up. That is fucked up. Bonus episode farewell. Thanks for playing the game for bonus episode little deluxe edition episode menu. That's crazy, man. The way that ended like that. Guys, here is the bonus episode that will, it's called Farewell, that will be the next uh, episode <clears throat> that I play and uh, to complete this series. Um, there is a season 3 like I said and I cannot wait to play that, don't know if the same characters and if it ain't with the same characters I would understand, but I really love Chloe, I think she's a great character, I feel that I really miss Chloe, uh, I, I, I'm going to miss Chloe because she's such a badass character, you know what I mean, you see how she developed here and it kind of shows her whole attitude in the, in the other game with Max and you know. She's a cool person. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, join me for the next episode, the final episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm, bonus episode, whatever. And um, I will see you. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Links are in the description below. And uh, <clears throat> I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.